what's up everybody um, in this video I want to show you guys how USSD applications actually work right so USSD applications uh, simply put they are web apps right so when you dial uh, a shortcut like star 522 hash you know that request is actually sent to your telco right so if you're using a Safaricom handset and you dial star 522 hash that request is first going to be sent to Safaricom. Now, when Safaricom receives that request, they're going to match that shortcode, right? Star 522 hash is what uh, is called a shortcode or a service code in USSD lingo. So when Safaricom receives that request, they're going to check, you know, star 522 hash, you know, which application is mapped to this shortcode or service code. Now, when they get the application, they're just going to forward that request, right? And they're going to forward that request using HTTP. Because remember, USSD applications, they are simply web apps, right? So I have an example of a USSD application here. So this is a, an example service uh, that's called Simple Banking, right? So as you can see, okay, if you're familiar with Go, then you'll notice that this is just a handler func and it's retrieving some stuff from the post request so there's a session id there's a phone number there's an imsi there's a type and there's text right so this is the data that i'm retrieving from the http request and then i'm using that to process the request right so don't get bogged down about this these details all right just 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 note that this is this is a web app right that's the important thing right so if i want to use that service that ussd service since it's a web app i can test it with postman right so this is the url that i'm using so let me show you that uh, if we come back to main here you see that this is what i've actually set and also have a host and a port uh, you can see here the, the host is localhost and the port is 8008 so yeah that's what we have here so I'm gonna I want to test that application and see yeah, yeah I want to show you guys how it works yeah so it's it's an HTTP uh, you know server simply put it's an HTTP server so let's try and test that so we need a session id remember we need a session id here okay so what is a session id for okay simply put a session id is used to prevent collision it's used to prevent multiple sessions from colliding right so if we are two guys uh, and we are dialing the same session right each of those sessions is going to be given a different id so that you know you don't access my menu and i don't access yours you get the point we also need a phone number the network code is not mandatory and we need a service code we also need some text right text is what you actually input right so if you dial star 522 hash and it tells you hey welcome dude uh whatever you know welcome your name blah 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 and then you input your pin that pin is gonna be stored here all right and it's going to be forwarded right okay in this particular example that's what would happen right so let's give it a roll send okay and then i want to i want to get a data bundle that's not expiring so here i want to buy for my number so remember this is the input okay and how much money do you want to spend i want to spend a hundred bob and I send it and then I want to do this from airtime I want to buy this once and there we have it right so as you can see this is uh, updating my log right so you can see post and you can check the time as well so this it's about oh it's past midnight it's pretty late so as you can see this this thing is really working right and we could even go back with zero i believe right so all this stuff is code 
that you have to write to do this all right so this code for going back and forth and doing whatever this is what you actually write okay so this simple banking application is a ussd application right so if i go to safaricom right and for and in and i tell them you know what i have this cool application and i want to access it can you give me a short code so this would would require you know maybe you could host it in their premises and then you would get a short code right so now that we've tested this using postman right let me show you another way that you could test it right so if postman is a bit you know difficult for you or you want to just make sure that it's working right so let me show you you can also use uh, africa stocking right so if you don't know what africa stocking is then uh, just google it or go to their website and you'll see what they have so as you can see here uh, i've marked this service code to this url okay okay uh something else i should mention right uh this service of mine right this service here is running on localhost and africa's talking is on the internet so uh, it's pretty difficult for africa's talking to access my local machine here because i'm doing this on my laptop yeah so to to help us with that i'm using ngrock right so i'm just mapping port 800 on local 8008 on local host to this particular this funny looking url so if you come and check this out here where is africa stocking okay uh you'll see that it's the same url that i'm using here but the context the context it's still simple banking right so after you add a service code and a callback then you can click on the sandbox and it's going to give you something like this right so this is what i want us to use to test our local service here okay uh, let me just restart it and i'm gonna pull back a bit so let's try and test if i can find it here it is so let's call it right wow see what i'm talking about so this is the same same menu that we were getting here right uh, if we look at our application we could see that uh yeah we got some hits right and yeah we actually got a hit so let's proceed and see if we can get bundles so i'm just gonna use step one again and then i'm gonna send so yeah we we get a we get a response yeah so okay where is this let's do buy for my number again i want to spend a hundred shillings as usual and i want to use airtime okay i want to buy this once wow it works huh see what i'm talking about so yeah that is ussd guys ussd that's how it works okay so let me mention something here have you noticed that there's a bit of a difference between this and the previous one so let me just go back okay let me just go to main menu home uh do you see this there's a, there's a bit of a difference right so if you look at this this request here okay my session is dead we have an end right we have an end here right so let me just try that again and now we have a con right but we don't have that here do we no we don't have that here so this is something specific to africa's talking right uh, when you send a response back to the telco right the telco needs to know whether this session should be terminated or whether it should be kept alive you know so when it comes to africa stocking specifically to africa stocking the way you do that is by prepending this text so this con here stands for continue okay 
and if you want to do an end let me just exit yeah you see this ends right so if I do the same here where is this thing so if I exit here do you see what happens it doesn't give me an input right because of the end all right so guys that's your SSD that is how your SSD works okay now remember as I've said USSD is simply a web service, right? And I mean, if you're a little like me, you know, this repetition is a bit tiring. You know, you have to keep dialing and, uh, you know, clicking here and inputting stuff. You know, it's a bit tiring. So a better way is to actually write your own, your own HTTP client, just to make your simple, you know, your life simple, right? so let me show you an example of that as well right so i just have a, a simple python application if i can find it yeah i believe it's here so let's try and run it it's under python my channel projects okay is it there Python projects and I've forgotten the name of the application. Ah, it's called Simple Banking Clients. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guys, I've forgotten the name of the application. Okay, let me just list that. Function Projects. And now I know what the application name is. Can everybody see it? It's called USSD client. Well, I cannot type. I'm tired. It's a bit late. And it's called simple banking client. Now I'm going to run that. See, we get the same menu here, right? You'll notice that the con is also missing, right? So let's try and do the same. See, this is pretty easy, right? I mean, you don't have to keep clicking. You just work with your keyboard. Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's, that's how it works, right? So this is a very simple um, application that I did with, uh, what's it called? Python, yeah, Python, pretty good stuff. So I could show you that right here with Jvm. See, it's just a simple uh, Python application. So as you can see, it's just a simple application and I'm using uh, HTTP and by the way if you haven't uh, looked at Python nowadays man Python is really cool you know this they've got some asynchronous tech in Python 3 nowadays and it's and it's it's pretty it's pretty nice so you see this async dev here and await pretty amazing so anyway guys I hope you understand how USSD applications work so if you've got any questions i'd be happy to answer and if you have an idea of a pretty good ussd application that we can do i'd be happy to you know join me in or whatever okay so thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next 